Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On April 19, 2024, North Korea once again made headlines with a series of missile tests, further escalating tensions on the Korean peninsula. These tests, featuring the Wasal 1RA 3 strategic cruise missile and the Pyalji 1 2 anti aircraft missile, underscore Pyongyang's relentless pursuit of bolstering its military capabilities. The tests, conducted along the coastal regions of the Korea Sea, signify a worrisome acceleration in North Korea's weapons development timeline. The North Korean state media outlet, KCNA, proudly reported the success of these tests on April 20, 2024, although the specific objectives achieved were not disclosed. These launches, believed to be the fourth public test since January 2024, highlight a notable uptick in the frequency of North Korea's missile trials. Such a rapid pace of testing suggests a determined effort to expedite the development of its armaments. Of particular concern is North Korea's demonstration of cruise missiles with ranges of up to 4,000 kilometers, potentially placing U.S. military installations in Guam within striking distance. This capability, coupled with the nation's expanding arsenal of ballistic missiles, poses a significant challenge to regional security. The South Korean military, in response to these provocations, has intensified its defense cooperation with allies, including the United States and Japan, to counter the growing threat posed by North Korea's advancing missile program. The timing of these tests is noteworthy, occurring amidst heightened tensions on the Korean peninsula following North Korea's declaration of South Korea as its primary enemy and the closure of avenues for reconciliation. This stance has further strained inter-Korean relations, exacerbating an already delicate geopolitical situation. Adding to the complexity are recent diplomatic maneuvers, such as the visit of U.S. Ambassador to the UN, Linda Thomas-Greenfield, to South Korea and Japan. The visit aimed to explore alternative strategies following the failure of the UN Security Council to extend the mandate of the panel tasked with monitoring sanctions against North Korea's missile and nuclear programs. This diplomatic impasse underscores the challenges in addressing North Korea's provocations through conventional means. Furthermore, experts warn of potential military cooperation between North Korea and Russia, particularly in the realm of anti-aircraft missile technology. Such collaboration, driven by shared interests in countering perceived threats from the United States, could further embolden Pyongyang's military ambitions. Additionally, allegations of North Korea's military support to Russia in the ongoing conflict in Ukraine raise concerns about the proliferation of advanced weaponry and its implications for regional stability. As North Korea continues to push the boundaries of its missile capabilities, the international community faces a critical challenge in mitigating the risks posed by Pyongyang's belligerence. Efforts to reignite diplomatic dialogue and reinforce multilateral sanctions regimes are imperative to prevent further escalation and preserve peace and stability in the region. That's all for now. See you later.